classroom. Um, today we're going to be talking about prime numbers and prime factoring to reduce fractions. Now, and that's what we'll be working on this week in our classroom too. Um, prime numbers are the numbers that are divisible by themselves and one only. An example would be the number five. Nothing will divide into five except five or one. Seven is a prime number also. Nothing divides into seven except seven and one. Bigger prime numbers, 19. Nothing divides into 19 except 19 or one. All right, for our purposes, we're going to be using two, three, five, and maybe seven. So for right now, let's write this here. Two, three, five, and perhaps seven. Now they go on, out into infinity, obviously. You know, 11, 13, as I said, 17, 19, 23, uh, and so on. What we're going to want to do is we're going to take a number like, say, 24. 24 is not prime. It can be divided by 2, 3, 6, 8, 12. It's, got, it's what's known as a composite number because it has so many factors. But if we wanted to break 24 down into its smallest components, its prime numbers, we would use either a factor tree or a thing called a ladder. Now, the factor tree, some of us may recognize from school, 2 times 12, 2 times 6, and 2 times 3. Basically, what we've just done is we've worked our way down from 24. We said that's 2 times 12. And we circle the prime number, knowing we don't have to go any further there. 2 times 6 for 12, and we circle the prime, and finally 2 times 3. Our primes are 2, 2, 2, and 3. But there's another method. Um, that works like this. 24, again, you make a division symbol, but up, upside down. And you say 2 into 24 goes 12 times. 2 into 12 goes 6 times. 2 into 3 goes, goes 6, goes 3 times, sorry. And then 3 into 3 goes once. Again, you wind up with 3 2s and a 3. Either way will work. Now, how do we use this when we reduce fractions? Well, let me show you. If you have a fraction that says something like uh, 18 24ths, a method for doing this using the prime factoring method, and I'll use the tree the first time, would be to take 18 and prime factor it. 2 times 9, circle the 2, 3 times 3, and circle both of them, and we've got our primes. And then 24 would be the same thing. We're going to take 24 and like this, and we'll say 2 times 12, and circle that, 2 times 6, and we'll circle this, and 2 times 3, and we'll circle that. Now we have our primes for both of them. We take them then and we put them onto a fraction bar like this. 20, uh, 18 was 2 times 3 times 3, so we say 2 times 3 times 3. Well, maybe I could write that neater so you could read it. Um, like this. And 24 was 2, 2, 2, 3, so we'll put that here just like this. Now, all we've just done is we've taken, instead of writing 18 and 24, we've written them out as their primes, factored. Now, what we do is we go through it and we find any factor on the top that's the same, on the numerator is the same as it is on the denominator, and we cancel them. We divide 2 into 2, and we get 1. We get 3, and we divide that into itself, and we get 1. And then we multiply anything that's left. So 1 times 1 times 3 equals 3. And 2 times 2 equals 4. And there would be my reduced fraction right there. Okay, let's try that again. Um, suppose we have one that says 12 thirtieths. And we want to reduce this one. Okay, again, and this time I'm going to use the ladder for the factoring. So if I use 12, and I say 2 goes into 12 six times, 2 goes into 6 three times, and 3 goes into 3 one time, now I would use it on 30 and say, all right, 2 goes 15 times, 3 goes into 15 five times, and 5 goes into that once. Now I'm going to take my factors and put them onto the, the bar. So 12 was 2 times 2 times 3, and 30 was 2 times 3 times 5. And now we look for the factors that are the same to cancel. 2 divided into 2 equals 1. 
and 3 divided into 3 equals 1. And now we multiply the numerators. 1 times 2 times 1 is 2. And 1 times 1 times 5 is 5. And that's prime factoring to reduce fractions. You want to try it? Well, of course. Why not? Here's an example for you. 20, um, 20 fifths. Let's keep it simple. Okay? Now remember, you prime factor the numerator first. Do that now. And then prime factor the denominator. And then you'll find the factors that are the same. Okay, so for 20, it happens to be 2 times 2 times 5. All right? 25 is simpler than that. It's 5 times 5. And then we cancel 5s because they're divisible. They're the same. And then we say 2 times 2 is 4. And 5 times 1 is 5. And again, now you know how to prime factor to reduce. Thank you.